are crickets. Let's familiarize ourselves with some general cricket morphology. Crickets have six legs, two pairs of walking legs, and a larger pair in the back used for jumping. They have antennae that they use to feel and smell their surroundings. The antennae can also be used as a form of aggression, such as in antennal fencing. Now let's examine a female cricket. The easiest way to tell a female cricket from a male is by the ovipositor. The ovipositor originates from the underside of the abdomen and is used to lay eggs. Sometimes, the end of the wings, or the antenna-like rear appendages known as cerci, both of which are found in males and females, can be misidentified in a male as the ovipositor, leading to incorrectly identifying a male as a female. So make sure you can distinguish between them. The female will use the ovipositor to bury her eggs in order to protect them. Let us now examine the male cricket. While female crickets do not produce sounds, male crickets use their wings to produce chirping sounds, a process called stridulation. The sound is produced by rubbing their front wings together. The cricket will raise his wings and draw the sharp edge, or scraper, of one wing across the comb of teeth, or file, located along the bottom of the other wing. Male crickets will use aggressive behavior if they feel threatened or want to exert dominance over another male cricket. Ensure that you are able to identify these behaviors. In the intrasexual selection part of the lab, you will observe two male crickets, so let's take a look at them now. The larger male has the white mark on his thorax. Can you see the size difference? In the intersexual selection part of the lab, the same two males will be joined by a female. Here is the larger male, the smaller male, and the female all together. Can you distinguish between them? You will need to be able to tell them apart to make your observations. <laughs> 